James Palms here. What's up guys, James Palms here. I don't know if I'm gonna bring these over. Today, I'm gonna to answer a question I get all the time. And I had uh, some lovely guy tell me last time that I gave him a bunch of misinformation. So uh, I just thought I'd remake this video here. So it's what kind of potting soil do I use when I repot up my palms? So all I do is I buy the basic, this is a miracle Grow potting mix. Uh, it's for flowers. It's like your standard flower mix. It's gonna be pretty cheap, but it's still potting soil. It does still have like perlite. It's still relatively light. It's not the fastest draining stuff and it's not the slowest draining stuff. It's just sort of the run of the mill and it, and it does have some drainage. It's got perlite already in it and it's got like peat moss and different stuff. I don't know, just it's designed for flowers, indoor and outdoor plants, potting soil, whatever. Uh, it's, it's not too super cheap, but it's not as expensive as like your cactus mix and stuff. So what I do is I get a bag of that and then I get bags of perlite. So I have a bag there, another bag here. This one, the one that is almost empty. And I mix this in. So this is perlite. In case you don't know what it is, that's what it is. It's this stuff when you see it in your plants, you'll see it. So I just mix a ton of this in, super light as airy, and it doesn't hold uh, really much moisture. So mix that in, uh, and basically it's just this perlite, mix in a ton of perlite, and then this is kids' play sand. So I put a bunch of this in here first. We'll put a bunch of just regular. I don't know if it's fine sand, whatever. When this dries out, it gets pretty dry and dusty. Like if it's sitting in a spot like this in the sun, it's just, so palms like sand. I mean, this is a cheap, easy way to get your mixture. I don't uh, I don't think it's necessarily the best or the worst. Some of them might not love it, but if you're controlling your watering and you got holes in the bottom of your pots, this is uh, fine. Uh, for, for palms, you can go absolutely as fast draining as possible. Most uh, palm nurseries have a lot better stuff, but they're spending, a, they might be spending more money, they have uh, easier access, and uh, you know, you can use wood. A lot of them you'll see their wood chips. There's lots of stuff in there. Sorry, I hit my phone. You can look at all kinds of stuff. I've done this for me. This works great for Mexican fan palm. Of course, they're not like the uh, you know, most pickiest of palm. Of course, they're, uh, it works for actually almost every palm I've tried. So um, just once in a while, if it's cold out and they get lots of water, you've you got to watch them, maybe bring them inside, keep them dry. Or, or whatever, or have a, some type of cover over them. But this is what I use. It's not misinformation. And people ask what I use, this is what I use. I'm not telling you it's the greatest in the world. Uh, if you mix lots of this in and lots of sand, it's not gonna hold a ton of water. This is already not, like this won't hold a ton of water in, in heat. It, it will hold a ton in cool weather, but if it's 100 degrees out, uh, unless you're using clay and shit, most of your uh, stuff's not gonna hold a ton of water. There's holes in the bottom of the pot. It's not like it's gonna be sitting in stagnant water or anything. So. Make sure you got good drainage. This is pretty much the same. This is the same potting mix there, and it's it's as light as could be. You got holes in the bottom, and you can see all the perlite in there. I mix in lots of perlite, keep it light and airy. Handfuls of sand. Uh, I'm gonna mix up some batches right now and repot up some stuff. That's what I use. Uh, thanks. So this is what it looks like, guys. This is what it looks like. I just thought I'd add this in here. This is what it looks like after I'm done mixing it. So you can see all the sand. You see the regular sort of gart, like the regular sort of flower potting soil. And you can see lots of perlite, right? You can see the sand, the perlite, and it's it's pretty light. And uh, you see it doesn't really, if you clump it together, it, it kind of breaks up. It doesn't break up a lot. Like, I mean, it could be, could be better. It still breaks up nicely, though. Pretty soft, lots of sand in here. So this is what I use. Like I said, it not, might not be the greatest. It's definitely light and it's relatively fast draining, especially, uh, and see, this is why it gets better drainage later on. That's like two inches of all roots. I just pulled it out of its three gallon pot here. So this one needs to be repotted, but that's why you get better drainage. But you can see the perlite and you can see the soil. Look, this is what I use. It's not uh, some type of propaganda film here. This is exactly what I use. This is what I use then a year or two ago and this is what I'm using now so these roots are actually pretty dry but better too dry than too wet sometimes uh, anyways so let's uh, get the repotting done thanks for watching guys later